I got a call on February 20th. Um, I was actually in the field in Georgia when I got the call. It was my other son that's a nurse, and he said, Mom, I think Josh is in this um, trauma unit, and um, we're on our way now to go identify him. We don't know, you know, if he's going to make it. You need to start heading this way. When I got there, Josh was, uh, they were breathing for him. He was completely out. He had a tremendous amount of abrasions all over his face. It was pretty horrifying. His legs were broken. He was just, and there was nothing there. So it was, it was tough, really tough. And he had a bolt that was um, put in the top of his head to monitor um, pressure or to drain off any fluid from the brain. Um, he broke all of the bones around the eye on the right side and then his femur went through his hip bone, uh, his hip socket and uh, they didn't even get to that hip bone until nine days later when they got him stable enough to, to go through surgery. It's been hard, but anything good is hard. If you don't think it's good, then it's not worth doing. So you, if you want to walk, you gotta work for it. If you want anything in life, you gotta work for it. Hello, my name is Josh Hayes. Trying to work on my physical ability, like walking and strength training, and my ability to, my cognitive ability. That is my goal. You know, throughout this, this whole ordeal, this journey, you know, there were certain things that, that fell together um, as far as Josh's recovery. And one of them was um, a speech therapist. Her name is Liz McNulty and she saw him in Stickyu at the Medical University. Um, she was like an angel that came into the room. She saw the potential in Josh when he was not even responding, um, when he wasn't even talking. She looked at him and saw the different reflexes that he had and immediately started working his jaw, working the muscles of, of his neck and said, He's going to talk. He's going to be fine. Oh, that felt good. Yeah. When I first met Josh, he was alert, but he was pretty unresponsive. He had a trach where he was breathing oxygen out of a tube. He had a feeding tube. He was not talking. He was unable to sit up by himself, let alone walk himself to the bathroom. I mean, he was fully dependent, brain injured. So he has come so far, remarkably. She is inspiring me because she takes my pain away. Because she does bone work on me. It's kind of hard to explain what that is, but it feels good because I don't have pain anymore. Kind of the femur coming out of the hip socket. Yeah. Bowen work is a type of body work that stimulates the body's innate ability to heal itself. 
So we all get in these dysfunctional patterns, you know, be it carpal tunnel, back pain, migraines, any trauma like uh, car accidents that puts us in dysfunctional patterns. And Bowen Work Session will reboot your system, your nervous system, your digestive system, your lymphatic system. It's a reset button to get you in a healing mode. The technique is such that we're um, rolling over muscle fibers or tendons or ligaments and we're kind of stimulating stretch receptors or proprioception pathways which send messages to the brain and the brain sends messages back. Okay, that's where the muscle should relax on the bone. The body has so many mechanisms to heal itself and this is kind of giving it a reboot. It's like simply like your computer gets frozen and what do you do? You turn it off, you let it rest, and you reboot it. And it then functions as it properly should. And so that's, it's kind of that way of getting out of a dysfunctional pattern, rebooting the body's innate ability to balance itself. Everything in life is learning chance. You gotta grow from it and make it positive. You don't have to look at it as a big thing, take it little by little and look at the whole picture later. Not now. Because if you look at the whole picture, you shake yourself up. His outlook is everything to him actually recovering from this you know at any given point I watch him today and I think about where we started and going down this this road this journey you've had to have the endurance of a marathon for sure I look at myself and I was like I'm tired you know caretaker I'm tired let's just let's just start walking let's let's get on with life you know and he every day wakes up with a smile um, his first thing is hello you know, and then he starts his day getting ready and he likes to be around people. He likes to, to really push forward and, and get the most out of every day. I think what I thought I'll do and then I had the determination to have, well, encourage others. If you're suffering from a TBI or have a family member who is going through traumatic brain injury rehab, I would say don't ever settle for this is where your function will be. And always look into other complementary therapies like Bowen work, like craniosacral work, like acupuncture. Because yes, our bodies can plateau, but that's all that it is, is a plateau. The respondability of your body is endless is limitless. We all should be functioning at our fullest potential. Everybody's different, but Josh, from where he started, from what the doctors were saying in the beginning to where he is now, is remarkable. It has to do with him never giving up. I'm not gonna eat this pureed food. Get me the regular food. I'm not gonna be in rehab in a nursing home. You know, I'm gonna walk out of here with pure determination to never accept anything less than I'm going to be 100% back. I chose to get better. <laughs>